Greetings the educated. Greetings from sunny, sunny Gwent. <laughs> it's not sunny, it's, it's rainy. At least it's going to rain. Um, anyway, so, want to see what 32 million pounds of taxpayers' money buys you? Well, very, very, very shortly, you're going to see just that. Because as you can see, just through the trees there, we've got the being built currently new Gwent Police HQ which um, me and back at the helm who's behind me on an audit today uh, we were driving past we saw it we stopped and we're bringing it to you so that is where we are guys right then, guys this is I guess the side of new Gwent Police HQ is this the new headquarters you're building mate is that new headquarters? When's it supposed to be finished? Five weeks. Five weeks? Okay, all right, thank you, mate. Five weeks until it's finished. So, pretty much there. They started building this um, just before the lockdown. Like, at the end of 2019. I forget the, the, the month. Um, I'm trying to say name, date, and month at the same time then. It shows you how tired I am. But yeah, um, they started building it towards the end of 2019. As I said before, it cost 32 million pounds. It's kind of like a police super center, I guess. <laughs> like, but yeah, I, it does kind of pique my interest actually. Why, like how they look so similar, all the police stations. I mean, I guess it is to keep that level of um, similarity, I suppose. Uh, I wonder if they're real plants or fake plants. And I wonder where they're going. They're going to put a. They're going to be planting them all around the perimeter of the fence as well to try and block out views completely. Uh, I don't know. I guess we'll find out in due course, won't we? We are obviously only around the corner from um, the current Gwent Police HQ, which we're going to visit. <laughs> We got the bin men giving us a thumbs up there. <laughs> yeah, we got the bin men giving us a thumbs up, which is cool. Ah, oh, here's the gate. Look, this is going to be the the exit gate, the, well, the entrance and exit. I see like a few doors down there, and I, I, I'm wondering if that is like the side of the custody suite. There are some pictures online I saw of this. Like you can take a little look inside. I'll probably link the websites underneath in the description so that you guys can uh, see what it looks like inside because I can't imagine they're going to let us go and take a look inside. I'm not even going to ask, to be fair, because these are just builders. They have no jurisdiction or authority to say that. But yeah, here we've got the back gate, which looks like a monster of a gate, doesn't it? <laughs> it's a bit of a monster gate. It's a big old gate. And that's the end of the site up there. You can't see around the other side because um, they've got that, you see the metal fence over there so you can't really get to the front. So yeah, that's a little view of, um, of the new Gwent Police Headquarters. And shortly guys, I'm gonna cut the recording now because we're gonna go to the main target for, for the day. We're gonna go off to Gwent Police, Police HQ and audit them, so. Without further ado, guys, we'll uh, catch up with you there. Right, apologies for the wind noise. Firstly, I do have this kind of good video, so I'm suspecting that most of the footage you will see is going to be from this camera here, so that you can hear what's going on. I mean, I can hear the wind noise blowing away now. But I don't know if you can see in the distance just down there, and you can see a sign just over there. We are approaching Gwent Police Headquarters for an audit for you guys. So I thought I'd switch on now. This is a very, 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 very open police headquarters. It's literally on the main road. Why am I holding my cam? Holding my camera out like this, like I'm recording. It's not even switched on. Um, as previously seen, I'm equipped today with various pieces of um, 
of information in the hope that that will be enough to keep me safe as it were anyway i'm going to switch on my uh this cam actually as well just as a little backup so as you can see as well there's a footpath that's going up here so quite clearly there is public access so i'm going to take a look as you can see up there on the signpost is um cctv in operation but we know that because we're holding it <laughs> oh so i hope everybody's well anyway you know i'd like to ask that no. i never really know what to say to you guys that i'm walking around i tell you what i will say though i feel nervous today i don't know why but i do i do feel nervous and there's some like underlying niggling feeling of um, imminent right removal <laughs> anyway I need to give a shout out I'm gonna give a shout out I had a subscriber give me a nice comment so Ben Jams this is a big shout out to you mate uh, hopefully you enjoy this one let's hope his nice calm collected educational and let's hope that no rights are stripped away today and as ever Let's look for that that nice constable. Um, the other thing as well, I had a subscriber as well. He's, well, he's not a subscriber actually, but he, he's a commenter and quite obviously a watcher. And he said he asked me to say something in this video, which I'm going to say because it's funny. And I'm not going to say it now, obviously, because I need to be speaking to someone in order to say it. But I'm definitely going to do that. I'm going to avoid going up that path there because I just don't see the end of the footpath. So I'm going to cross the grass because when I drove past looking at these um, police cars, I thought I saw some of them were unmarked in terms of, not unmarked, sorry, they didn't have registration plates on. But I don't know whether it was just because I was going past looking from the passenger seat as well. I might not have um, caught that correctly but as you can see there are a lot of police cars in here that's an interesting little police cordon what's that some kind of roadblock that's interesting isn't it here that's interesting isn't it <laughs> oh you go away Stephen Hickman taking a piss out of my accent it's not my fault I'm from the great west country what do you expect mind Right, I'm not going to, I don't want to get any of these unmarked cars because, I, oh yeah, look, see, that one's got no number plate on. But how did I see that? Oh, probably on the back, yeah. And there's a couple down there. Yeah, I'm not going to, I'm not intended to get any of these unmarked cars, right? Because I'm not giving these guys an excuse to try to criminalise my perfectly legal, that's a filthy police car. Look at it, man. I know it's pretty decommissioned, but you know, sell it and get some money back for it and put it towards your 32 million pounds of our money you're spending on a stupid police station that you don't need because you've got a perfectly fine one just around here. But anyway, rant over. Just been clocked by a, by a woman up there. She got her phone straight out. But we're going to take a walk towards what I believe is the front of the building down there up a little hill where you can see some of those other police cars in the distance we'll take a little walk up there have a little look around make sure these guys are sticking to protocol understand their jobs i don't want that to sound like i'm being arrogant but i was actually having a conversation with back at the helm on the way down and he said something which i actually believe as well but he's i haven't said it but you know, when it comes to auditing, the people that go auditing, like, is the goal not to have auditing as something that can't happen? And the way I mean that is, if we achieve our goal in what we want to do with auditing, we won't be able to audit anymore because there will be no interactions apart from, oh, hello, sir, you making a video for your YouTube? 
To which the auditor would reply, yeah, something similar or of that sort. And then you just go, okay, have a nice day. And then that would be it. So, something to think about, guys. You know, it's a bit of a, is that an oxymoron? Is that what you call that? Yeah, so it's kind of an oxymoron. So, when we achieve our goal, we won't have anything to do. And we'd have to go get proper jobs. <laughs> Self, a self-destructing job. Anyway, but... Um, well, yeah, he's right. I don't know if you heard what Back at the Helm said, but like the goal of auditing is to put yourself out of work. Are <laughs> oh, you sure reminded me of AB then with his PC yellow shoulder number 101? <laughs> I like that. I think that's hilarious. Right, so this looks quite, like quite an old building by the way. I've just been ranting about stuff as I walk around and not really focusing on the police station. But yeah, it looks quite an old building, as you can see. There are some newer parts, obviously, with a site like this, you can imagine that little bits get built as other bits get decommissioned and stuff like that. I sound really out of breath, I know, but basically the reason for that is because I'm fat in a face mask <laughs> and it's hard to breathe. But I'm wearing a face mask because I don't want these guys to see my face. So yeah, operational support vehicle over there. We're going to take a look at that in a minute. Looks like they've got some... It looks like a workshop or, of some sort. The car workshop. We're going to have a look. <sighs> Just mind we don't get knocked over. Yeah, look, they're doing so. A. It's a garage. Obviously, where they repair all the cars. Look, man, that's cool. I wonder what they're doing to that police car. There's some smashed up ones down here we're going to take a look at. Playing some good tunes in there. Or a good tune in there. That is nice. He's got a fast car. Yeah. Caption it, guys. <laughs> Another police car in there having some work on it. Do you know what, right? This is a very, very clean gar gar car garage, and like every single car in there looks pretty bloody clean and and fresh no oil where's the oil where's the oil on the floor man right let's go and take a look around the back of this building over here because some of these this that building over there looks very very old like well it's not very very old but you know what I mean it looks older than that new monstrosity we saw around the corner It says, do not, it says, do not park in front of the garage door. And then you've got that vehicle parked right in front of the garage door. I don't know. I'm wondering if that's a separate business or if that's just a car garage that the police own and then they employ somebody, they employ people no, to come in and work. I think the police garage for them to do the MOT so that when you see a police ah, good point, actually. vehicle that says it doesn't have an MOT, it doesn't have to be listed, it just has to pass their own MOT. There you go, there you have it, guys. Which, to be fair to them, is probably stricter than the ones that we go through. Yeah, I'd argue that as well. Rather than more lenient. 
Yeah, I'd argue that. Oh, let's make sure we don't get knocked over by PC you know lady. What? I reckon they've read the memo around here. Well, I did mention to you before I started rolling that um, everywhere I've been in Wales, I've been kind of okay with me. And, you know, more, more police passing me by and leaving me to it than, than have stopped me. So I feel like the police down in Wales are a little bit more clued up on the memo. AB got channel, challenged in the um, Carmarthen, but that's right out west. Yeah, that's right, right west Wales. They're a bit, um, a bit strange down in West Wales. <laughs> Sorry, my friend. I got a, a very close friend who um, who's from West Wales. So if you're watching, sorry. <laughs> CCTV camera, 360 on the top as well. well Big old satellite. Well I don't really understand what that's for, but you know. <laughs> Uh, requirement to PTSO provide welfare for their staff, so toilets, washing your hands, somewhere to eat. And there you have it then. Kawasaki! Do you know this is remi this remind this place reminds me of a, a hospital grounds. It's very similar, isn't it? It definitely reminds me of hospital grounds. It does look like a, a wing of a hospital, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it does. It's a hospital, ladies. Oh, is it? Yeah. Don't it look like a hospital, though? It does. <laughs> <laughs> what are you like? What are you guys? Police staff. Oh, okay. Have a nice day, girls. Ah, that's quite confusing. Like we're at the front gate now, but how do you how do you walk into the front gate? I'm not sure if this is a big or a small. That little witch back there, she was all nicey nicey. And now look at her. On her blower. Here, love! Here, excuse me, love! Just going, just going to ask her something. Oh no, she's walking away. Oh, they're going. I'm not going to run her down to ask her. Let's take a look at the Remembrance Garden. B A T H. Bath, what he pointed out. I don't know if you can see them clouds coming over the hills over there, but I think it might rain. Would you believe it? Raining Cumbran. Well, I never. <laughs> well, I never. It definitely does look like a hospital there. Back at the helm over there, telling a story about. Um, actually, I don't know what he's telling the story about. <laughs> he's telling a story. Yeah, so this is quite a small headquarters, really, compared to like uh, Wiltshire, not Cheshire. I went to the other week, and I guess it's probably, actually, it's probably a bit bigger than the other place we saw as well. But. I suspect in the other newer headquarters, there are um, 
a significant amount of underground space or a significant amount of underground space so potentially why it doesn't look as big as this one which is still quite small <laughs> if, you, if you know what I mean but is there I don't know talk rubbish don't I right I'm pretty sure then that we've managed to do a whole little circuit of Gwent Police HQ and I'm really happy to see that I got my head, I got, not my head, but I had heads poked out at me quite regularly from windows. I've had quite a few people on phones call in, but I haven't had one uniformed officer attend to me. So I'm pleased to say that we may have a pass on our hands here. Here, love, I don't suppose any of you know where I can find someone to price me up a chicken hutch? Sorry? You don't know where I can get someone to price me up a chicken hutch? No. no? All right, no worries. Thank you. There you go, Steve. You better hit that bell. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, as I was saying, I'm really nice to see that this this has been a nice, calm little expedition around uh, around Gwent Police HQ. It absolutely does seem that Gwent Police or most of the police forces in Wales, actually, or at least I'd say most of it, is the two police forces I... Back at the helm is calling me back. Back to back at the helm. Let's see what's going on here. I don't really know. It looks like he's speaking to somebody. Oh, man, I, I would hate to think that someone's just come out and totally ruined the fact that I was just saying how this was an absolute pass. Did you ask for one or she just said she's going to... Okay, so somebody challenged back at the helm. She said a police officer is going to be out to him shortly. Uh, let's hope that this police officer is um is good enough to to understand that we have the absolute right to come out and film the police i also think actually whilst i'm on that subject right let's just make sure i don't get knocked over i think that given what happened with wayne cousins alone i believe that the police should be grateful of people coming out with their cameras to record the police I really do. Um, I might right. wait, because you said there'd be someone coming out. Well, I was just walking down there saying that Gwent HQ gets a pass. Um, I was literally just well, saying that. When, I said, when she asked what the memo was about, I said it's about member of the, uh, member of the public out harvesting photons. <laughs> she shook her head and stormed in. Did she? So apparently a police officer's coming to have a chat with us. What for, though? I don't know. Okay. No idea. I don't think we're going to... I don't think I'm going to be waiting for. Her. I don't think I'm going to be waiting for her. You're not going to be waiting. Well, no. Why should I? Why should we? Go in and see if. If you like to, yeah, you go on in. It's up to you. I don't. Are you allowed in? Is it a, an operational? Well, there's a sign for visitors and an arrow pointing inside, so I would assume that you are allowed in. Plus, there's a police station. Go in. If you need assistance. Um, well, that's a shame because, like I, like I said, I was literally just calling that a pass for for Gwent Police. I was explaining that, although I've been spoke at, sorry, although I've been looked at by quite a few people, nobody has actually challenged me or um, attempted to tell me that I'm not allowed to engage in my perfectly legal activity. And then I got hollowed back up, so that's a shame. Hopefully a police officer won't come out. It's probably just a Karen who was um, trying to throw a weight around. Let's hope that is the case. Anyway. Uh, hey, they come, that Mercedes came around that corner a bit fast. Let's get some... Sh see back at the helm over there. He's 
is waiting for his police officer. Hi. Hello, my love. Sorry? Oh, that was so sorry. Sorry, did you not? You didn't need me anymore. Okay, are you a police officer, ma'am? No, I'm not. Okay. Thank, thank you. Have a nice day, my love. <laughs> so that blonde lady in there called her back in when she said that um, I don't know what she was going to ask me. I didn't actually hear her. I'll have to play it back on the recording and hope that I can. Oh no, I did hear what she said. She said, "Can I ask what you're doing?" There's a surprise. I was actually going to say thank you for asking in such a polite way, but she has no right to that information. So that is confirmation for me, that blonde lady hanging out of the window and calling the other lady back, that the memo has gone round, the memo has been listened to, and I, I think, given that, I actually do think that um, we are going to hear, we're not going to have that police officer come out, which is why I kind of didn't really feel that bad about coming down here. See that golf just parked on double yellow lines though. Naughty, naughty. Right, let's go back up to back at the helm. We're gonna take another little walk down towards the car park and then that's gonna be a wrap for me. So yay, yay, we have, a, we have a pass at Gwent Police. I'm wondering, is that my first pass? I'll have to take a look at my um, my content. But I think that may, may well be my very first pass as an auditor. For something to celebrate maybe <laughs> who knows crack a beer for me guys go on <laughs> yeah that did confirm it for me though that absolutely that the, the memo was is that a police car being clamped no yellow cone behind it Let's go and have a look what that sign says. Pardon me. Shouldn't never have had that sausage roll. Here we are. This car parking area is the property of the Gwent Police Authority and is provided for use only by those having a bona fide business at this establishment. Any persons availing themselves of this facility do so entirely at their own risk and the authority does not accept liability for any damages, however so caused. So basically, this is a public car park <laughs> and you can leave your car here, but they won't take any responsibility. It doesn't actually say don't park here. <laughs> That's funny. Right then, guys. For me, that one is a, ra a wrap. I thought that was a police officer coming around to talk to us then. Yeah, for me that was a wrap, so I'm going to take myself back down towards the car park and back towards the car. So guys, peace. Oh, peace to you as well, <laughs> in case I use that camera. <laughs> So I thought we were off on the way, but it seems like this police constable is coming to speak to us. So we stopped. Hiya. Hello, mate. Uh, could you actually you come over here if you wouldn't mind? <laughs> yeah, good. Thank you. How are you, Inspector, Chief Inspector? What's your rank, Inspector? Nick McLean, I'm the Chief Superintendent. Chief Superintendent, I'm nice to meet you. Well, first and, first and foremost, and I don't have a copy on me, have you read the, um, the guidance from the National Police Chiefs Council re regarding bloggers and auditors? Yes, I have. You have read it? Yes, we well, noticed. Well, we've noticed because yeah. people here, apart from the young lady who got a little bit upset on the reception, people have just been 
nice as pie. So you are, are you, sorry, just to I'm just trying to work on who you are. So because yeah, I've seen the guidance, I know what your auditors are. You part of that oh, group? Or I'm you, not really. I I feel like I've been waiting for this question. You know, is, is this gentleman with you? John works for us, yeah. Oh, is he going to stand on the periphery and make me feel nervous? Can he at least stand in my field of view? I, I asked him to come down. John yeah, no, I, I don't mind. It's, it's fine. You could be. I just, I get a bit nervous when people, if I can't see them. He's not a police officer. Okay. You, you, you've obviously, let me just jump in a bit, Ed. We've we, we been talking about this today. You've read all that guidance. If every, every staff, every member of staff read that, digested it, and acted on it, then all these antagonistic videos that you see on YouTube, they disappear overnight. Well, we try not to be antagonistic. I mean, You've been brilliant here. You know, I, I suppose the only thing I, I just mentioned is that um, just you're aware of what this building is. Yeah, absolutely. It's our headquarters. Mm -hmm. Looks like you need a new one. Yeah, well, we are. <laughs> We've only been here for a month or two. And then oh, we're is moving, it? We're moving down the road, so, yeah. um, so we are in the new building. How much that cost? Yeah. Well, we've got the commissioner. 32 there. million, we already know. I wanted to just come back to what you said. You asked us if we were social media auditors. Yeah. And I feel like that honestly depends because I feel like the police in general have got kind of the wrong overview on what auditing is supposed to be about. I mean, you guys believe that the whole point is to come here to provoke a reaction in order to create content well, for YouTube. That's, that's a generalization. I wouldn't, you know. Yeah, but it's, it actually said, look, I mean, like, without trying to be an idiot, I've got the MPCC guidance here. And it actually says in this guidance that the, the, the main reason for auditors is to go out and provoke okay. police staff and um, into a reaction, right, basically. Okay. And opposed to no, 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 that's not what we come for. And this is why, like, this is why I say I was ready for the um, for the question because based on this guidance, yeah. I would say no, I'm not okay, a good. social media auditor, and that's purely because I believe. You guys have the, the wrong I, I the wrong I idea. Think, I think sometimes my understanding is sometimes people come and they say we are from the auditors. Mm -hmm. So that the, the um, some of the videos I've seen in the past, people will say you know people like yourselves will say we are auditors. Mm -hmm. So that's why I think this is general. Have you had question. people here before? Um, I think I think we've had people, people in various parts of the estate. I think the headquarters. Mm -hmm. I'm not quite sure. Because mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, you've been to I know you've been to Blackwood. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> we've had this type of thing. Well, that's up in the mountains, is that isn't Day, it? This, uh, but I I really part of our core area. I, I really like actually that you um, look at a kind of social media auditing as a, an actual entity as opposed to just a group of people who are causing a problem. So the way you speak about it, I feel like you see a legitimate cause there. We try, you know, we, you know, we try and, you know, we understand, we, we, um, public confidence is really important to us. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Um, I think, just to explain, you know, the building is a, is a headquarters, so it isn't a working, I suppose what you would um, considered to be a, a police station as such, mm. um, so it's uh, lots of administration goes on here. We do have vulnerable people coming back and forth mm -hmm. sometimes, so I'd ask you to be a bit considerate. Yes, I yeah. we, we were literally going. I, I literally, I was, I said to the yeah. camera that you guys had obviously yeah. got the memo. And we, and, and we obviously got the footpath as well. The people that have been walking past, I've actually been turning my camera away. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're not here to antagonize, which I, I know sometimes people do come and do that, and I know that. It's much like, you know, how people come here because there are some bad police, so they automatically tar every policeman yeah, with yeah. it. It's exactly the same thing. There are yeah. some guys who come out with under the pretense of auditing and do just come and cause trouble, which makes you guys think, oh, God, there's another auditor. He's got a well, face mask on and rah, rah, rah. Hopefully, I, mean, I don't know what your audience is, but it's it's con hope would be. considerable. You'll see, the video, you'll see Gwen Police and you'll think, do you know what, I can have some confidence in Gwen Police. I, I would hope so. What we they, they engage with people and they're friendly and uh, we're not obstructive Generally, and so public. people can come and tell us and report things to us um, and if they have problems with um, anything that the crime we need to trust you guys then, then you can that's exactly what we, so that's what we want well i think you're doing a great job build, thank building you bridges in the current thank you very much yeah. what was your name again sorry nick. nick thank you i'm ed nick. Thank you very much yeah. indeed. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks for your time and uh, okay. honestly, thank you very much. Will we be able to see the footage? Will we be able to find it somewhere? Yeah, Probably. Gwent Police HQ later on. <laughs> Probably tomorrow. <laughs> Is that, was that a roundabout way of asking for a channel name? Uh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> no. <laughs> you know the answer to that already there. Gwent Police it. HQ, you'll find it. Okay. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Take care, right? Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Watch yourselves. Uh, Got you on us on that side. Yeah, no worries. I've got into my sixties <laughs> without getting run over. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you. That was that was funny, guys. Though I'm laughing because right, what I'm laughing at is like he was he was a nice guy, yeah, but he literally couldn't help it. The policeman in him at the end just couldn't help it. He had to give a directive. Walk on the other side of the road. I blindly complied to that one as well, but you know. Anyway guys, as I was saying, and I can say it again, 
I'm going to call that one a pass for Gwent HQ because that was a decent interaction. I was curious to know if, um, not curious to know if, sorry, I was curious to know why I seem to be noticing higher and higher rank officers coming out to auditors. That interests me quite a bit. Um, something I'm going to be asking the next time I'm on an audit. Also as well, I want to ask a question guys. I want you to let me know what you think about me, about these joint audits. I just want to know your feedback. So let me know what you thought of today's audit compared to some of my other stuff. And um, Because I, I live to serve you guys after I live to give to my kids. <laughs> but second, and a close second, well, quite a far away second, but second nonetheless, is my desire to come out and make this content for you guys and help be a stepping stone in that bridge, hopefully, that we can build together. But anyway, that was that. I may go and take a little go around to the smaller Gwent police station around the corner just to see. Excuse me again, that sausage roll is really repeating on me. Just to see uh, around the other police station if the memo has trickled down from police, police HQ. But yeah, anyway guys, peace.